Did you know that American business magnate Bill Gates started laying the foundations for the establishment of Microsoft as early as 13 years old? Yes, and this fact is usually omitted from the narrative of how Microsoft came about. So join us in this video as we enter Bill Gates' brain and talk about Inside Bill Gates' Brain, How Microsoft Came About. Let's get started. The Beginning Now let's do some time traveling, shall we? Decoding Bill Gates will provide the insight that microbes did not just come about through a vision or accidental discovery. It was through passion development and the establishment of contacts and friends. And this journey all started at the age of 13. Bill Gates was enrolled at a private school at 13, with his parents particularly fearing that he might be bullied at other schools. That decision by his parents to send him to the Lakeside School in Washington helped Gates harness his skills and establish a meaningful connection. For instance, Bill Gates wrote his first programming software at school, which allowed his colleagues to play tic-toe against the computer. It was such an impressive feat for him as not many students his age had the vision to imagine and create a thing of that sort. Some of the pieces in your collection here are very impressive. However, the program's creation got him into trouble. Perhaps because of wanting to do more, Bill Gates tried to gain the school computer system for more time to work on his project. One of his tutors eventually found and served him with punishment. Fortunately for Gates, the sentence would further enhance his career in programming and software. The penalty was for Bill Gates and one of his colleagues, Kent Evans, to create and automate a class scheduling system. While the two were carrying out this activity, Evans died in an accident, leaving Bill with a tough decision to find a new partner to help him finish the project. That he did perfectly well and located in a partner Paul Allen, who he later formed Microsoft with. More to come on that later, so don't go anywhere. But before we go ahead, Please subscribe to this channel to get all the latest news about Bill Gates, including books to change your life and thinking. Now let's carry on. The Trafo Data Project Bill Gates and his new partner Paul Allen successfully implemented the class scheduling system, which paved a new opportunity for the duo to work on another project together. The Trafo Data Project came about when Bill Gates took an internship program one summer. He worked for a company that measured traffic flow patterns by counting the car wheels that rolled over pressure-sensitive rubber tubes. The burden then lied on a machine to punch a wave holes onto a piece of paper tape every 15 minutes. Afterward, the tape was read and its results were written down manually. According to Paul Allen, the process was monotonous, inefficient, and murder on the eyes. I have a difficult job running this place. But I do it. Gates, who was about 17, and Allen, who was about 19, felt this process could be done more efficiently and inexpensively and took advantage of that to develop the Trafo data system. Bill Gates hired younger students at Lakeside to serve as human paper tape readers. The duty of the students was to copy a tape's data onto computer cards, with each student being rewarded 50 cents per video. When the student carried out this task, Bill and Allen used a computer at the University of Washington Library, where Allen's father worked, to create easy-to-read data charts on hourly traffic flows. Yeah, I am sure by now you are beginning to realize the importance of Paul Allen to the journey. But that is not. He played a particularly important role in landing Microsoft its first job. Stay tuned to know about it. The work became much more manageable when Gates and Allen were joined by a third partner, who helped the company to build a machine to automate the reading of the tapes. The traffic data thus grew into abundance, with Bill and Paul analyzing traffic data for the Washington State Roads Department and many others. Eventually, the system expanded and charged clients $2 per day for data collection, including small counties near Seattle and a district in British Columbia. And according to Paul Allen, it was through this that money started coming their way and that ambition to create Microsoft. What do you think about the journey so far? Please share with us in the comments section. Microsoft is born. The influence of their time at high school and college on the establishment of Microsoft is best summarized by Paul Allen when he says, If it hadn't been for our Trafogate adventure, said Allen, and if it hadn't been for all that time spent on University of Washington computers, you could argue that Microsoft might not have happened. So through these experiences, Microsoft came about 
and now it is one of the most in-demand operating systems for computers and mobile phones. There's a lot of people who are uh, forecasting that there'll be software stores just like their record stores today, and that there'll be thousands and thousands of those. And I think I'd have to agree with that. Microsoft. Odds are that if you have used a computer, played video games, made a video call, or just gone on the internet, then at some point in your life you have used a Microsoft product. Microsoft was officially born on 4th April 1975. While those experiences were crucial, it is also important to note that the pair were influenced by the release of the previous year's first microcomputer, Altair 8800. It is believed that it was Paul who approached Bill Gates about the concept of developing software for the Altair 8800. The company's name was thus derived from the first project, Microsoft from Microprocessors and Software. I am sure this journey inside Bill's brain has dramatically inspired you about how little beginnings can make a difference. Bill Gates talks more about these in his books, and we have assembled the top five for you. If you are interested in that, please watch our next video. 5 Best Bill Gates Beginner Books That Will Change Your Life in Thinking. See you next time!